Job creation is one of South Africa's biggest headaches at the moment. We are not creating as many employment opportunities as we should, especially given the amount of poverty that exists in townships and rural areas. Now, Gauteng businesswoman Tebo Homashiro shows what we can achieve if we encourage the spirit of entrepreneurship. She let go of her handbag and picked up a grinder, developing a company that sells products as far afield as Zambia, Malawi and Kenya. Tebo Romashiro's life journey started in a small northwest village. The first of two girls, always surrounded by entrepreneurs. My parents have a, had a taxi and they were operating in Rustenburg. They had a spaza shop and all this. So from a very young age, I started helping them with their business. So that is where I developed a passion for being an entrepreneur. But Debucho wasn't keen on joining her parents' venture. She wanted to experience life on her own and moved to Johannesburg after matriculating. Arriving in the big city, she enrolled for a three-year diploma with Vets Tech. After graduating in 2002, I couldn't find a job, so I ended up doing a leadership in SMME advisory. In our assignment, they said we must look for a unique business which not many women are doing. So I looked into like panel beating and other stuff, but I got interested in steel and aluminum. Swapping her handbag for a grinding machine. Totally unusual for an impressionable 24-year-old. Debo Ho was hell-bent on following her heart. One day, while out on school assignment in Soweto, she met Silo, a struggling welder whom she would later fall in love with and marry. He didn't have a car. He was working with two welders who were assisting him. So when I met him, you know, the business was at a, you know, just initial stage of, you know, startups. They were facing a lot of challenges because they were welding on a side of a road in deep blue zone 4. Uh, you can imagine when it's raining, they can't work, so they needed to have like a structure. They didn't have an office or any administrative skills. Deboho immediately knew that she could add value to her boyfriend's welding business. I assisted him with administration skills and then we registered the business formally. But it wasn't smooth sailing. Neighbors were complaining about the noise uh, when they're doing spray painting, uh, you know, health hazard. The police came and shut the business down. Debojo and her partner were not discouraged, though. They decided to move it to an industrial area. But just as things started falling into place, Debojo found a full-time job as an HR assistant. A few years into her new job, she realized corporate life was not for her. She missed being an entrepreneur. She took a big gamble, quit her full-time employment and went back to the steel business. I lost a lot of benefits like medical aid, uh, you know, free training and all that. But, you know, I could see there's a potential in this business. With her husband having abandoned the struggling venture, Debojo took over and did everything from manual labor to admin. Today, what people initially thought was a nuisance has become a success, supplying clients with steel gates and burglar bars across Africa. I started marketing my business in Kenya, Malawi and Zambia and I received, you know, tremendous results from them, you know. 60% of my products are sold in Africa. 
the fact that she she's involved in it, you know, makes it different. And the touch of the feminine touch, you know, there's, you can see the design that okay, this was a woman's thinking somebody, and um, and that her skills have, have just you know enhanced. And and the fact that in Germany she was exposed to you know those big manufacturing companies and the designs that were there. Fantastic. Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.